ghost yet, have we? Is everybody okay? heading south on the Trent and Mersey Canal and in this episode we'll be taking you through the Hare Castle Tunnel from north to south. We're travelling with Paul and Anthony from YouTube channel Now About Life Unlocked heading towards the Crick Boat Show. It's commonly nicknamed Scare Castle Tunnel. You can decide for yourself whether it really deserves that name or not. Here's the full experience from start to finish. We're in book four of the Nicholson's Guides and you can see the navigational notes for the tunnel in the left hand corner. It gives a number to call for information. So we're here at the entrance of the tunnel. The CRT person just came out and indicated to us to pull over to this left hand side. We're going to moor up, we're going to go and uh, use the facilities first, uh, the barriers across the tunnel and we'll just wait for instructions. The water in the Trent and Mersey Canal in this area is a deep orange colour, not from the mud but it comes from the iron rich springs near the tunnel. Okay right, so it's freezing cold there guys. The Canal and River Trust volunteer talked us through the rules and regulations for going through the tunnel and checked that our tunnel light and horn were both working. It's a one-way tunnel with three to four boats let through at any one time in one direction. So we've got facilities over there, the Elsan. Uh, there's a toilet over there. The, he's just told us that the rubbish is at the other end of the tunnel. So we'll do that when we get to the other end. Let's so put our rubbish back and we'll do that when we get to the other end. Yeah. So we've got about an hour to wait. There's three boats coming through the tunnel. Um, Anthony's just gone to make us some hot chocolate. There's Poppy getting impatient. She wants to go and play with Dexter. Dex is not too impressed though. Hare Castle Tunnel is technically two tunnels with just one navigable today. The first tunnel was engineered by James Brindley and took a total of 11 years to construct. When it was completed in 1777 it was more than twice the length of any other tunnel in the world at that time. The second tunnel, built by Thomas Telford, was needed to increase capacity and took just three years to complete. When it was opened in 1827, Telford could benefit from advancing knowledge of tunnel engineering and was able to excavate a much wider tunnel, allowing a towpath for horses. The earlier and narrower Brindley Tunnel required boatmen to leg their boats through. Without a towpath, it could take up to three hours to get through the tunnel. Today, the journey takes between 30 and 40 minutes to get through the 1.6 mile tunnel. This is the Canal and River Trust working boat that's used to carry out any maintenance in the tunnel and also in case of any emergencies. just heard the engines of the boats that are in there, just about to come out of the tunnel now. There's Poppy patiently waiting still.
wait a little bit longer because there was a fourth boat that went in. So this is the fourth boat just coming out now. So then we'll be untying and going in ourselves. So it's our turn, Pete's just untying. Paul and Anthony are ready to untie, they're going to follow us in. And then there's a third boat coming in behind them. Part of the instructions were to keep the dogs inside the boat, so Poppy's not going to be too happy with that. She'll probably start barking because she likes to be up out the back with us all the time. So I may go in with her and just keep her calm. We've put all the lights on inside the boat, so that helps brighten the tunnel a little bit as we're going through as well. just arrived so I'm not sure if they're going to let them through or not because it's nearly the cut off time for the morning session here we go Pete yeah. scare castle tunnel are you I scared know. I am scared I'm scared <laughs> of trying to get through this first bit here <laughs> profile to make sure that we can fit through the tunnel. Grove Bogart, or apparition or ghost, originates from a murder that took place inside the canal tunnel during the early 19th century. It's the spirit of a woman who was murdered by boatmen as she travelled to London by canal barge through the Hare Castle Tunnel. The gloomy spectre of the Kids Grove Bogart has been terrorising travellers for more than 200 years. boat you can see a brick profile painted in white showing you where the tunnel gets lower. Okay, that's a lot now. okay. 
okay this is getting really tight now i see what everybody means now about it being really low markers every 100 metres along the tunnel. distance markers I spoke about. It points in the direction of the nearest exit in case of an emergency.
40 minute journey we were out in the open again and it was still raining. So what do we think? Was it as scary as we've been told? Well, we didn't see the skeleton, which is about 400 metres in apparently. And we didn't see the ghost, although the water dripping did trip me out a little. But it was quite uncomfortably low in places. So what do you think? We'll let you decide if the Scare Castle Tunnel warrants its name. Tell us what you think in the comments. Join us next time as we continue our journey south on the Trent and Mersey Canal. A huge thank you to everyone that's bought us a coffee this week. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and give us a like. And if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It really helps our small channel grow. And the truth